I apologize ahead of time because this is going to be a little bit of a black pill. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and I just learned some interesting facts that uh, I thought you would be interested in. So there's a myriad of reasons that our country is not doing great, but when you start to look at some hard data numbers, it really starts to put things in perspective. And recently, I learned how many people work for the government. So when you look at total government employees, the number comes out, and when I say total government, I mean federal, I mean state, and I mean local government employees. You're looking at about 22 million people. 22 million. Now, there are another 10 million federal contractors. There's probably some other local contractors and state contractors that I can't account for, but let's just be conservative here and let's go with this. So that brings our total number to about 32 million people. 32 million people who are employed by the government in the United States, meaning they receive their paycheck from your tax dollars, right? This does not include people who uh, more or less work for the government by way of regulation. For example, if you look at banks, right? Banks are so incredibly heavily regulated that it's not that they're government employees where their, their paycheck is funded by the government, but because they're so incredibly heavily regulated, they're really not functioning as independent businesses anymore, and they are much more at the whims of the government, and what the government comes in and says they have to do, they have to do it, and so they're effectually government employees in how they operate on a day-to-day -day basis, if that makes sense. But let's just stick with the actual financial data for now, right? 32 million people, probably, again, that's probably a little bit light of a number, work for the government. Which by the way, I mean, just, I think it's like 2 million general employees and 10 million contractors at the federal level, which puts it at 12 million people, which makes the US federal government the largest organization in human history ever, which is kind of crazy. So you could say, well, 32 million people, what, what does that really mean? Well, let's start looking at the numbers. The total US population, and this is a hard number to get because you know there's lots of illegal immigration problems and whatever, and that's a whole different issue that we're not going into in this video. It's somewhere around 334 million people, okay? So if you just take the total amount of people who live in America, again, not counting illegal immigrants, and this counts men, women, children, elderly, employed, unemployed, homeless, whatever, just, just everybody, okay? you're looking at roughly 10.4%. 10.4% of the total US population works for the government. Again, you have to remember, this doesn't include people who get Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid or all the other welfare programs, right? This is just people who solely get their day-to-day, nine-to-five paycheck from the government. 10% of the people get their money from the government. Now, you might say, well, that's, that's not so bad. That means, you know, nine people uh, work, uh, you know, a, a private sector job and, and they pay taxes and the, the businesses pay taxes in and, and then, you know, that supports the one. So out of every 10 people, one person, the, the, the other nine pay for the one, right? Well, one, that would still be pretty bad, honestly. That would be catastrophically bad. But unfortunately, it gets worse. You see, of those 334 million people, not all of them work. And when I tried to look up how many jobs there are in the United States, the number I found was about 164 and a half million. Okay, so I'm just gonna go with 165. 165 million jobs in the United States. Of those 165 million jobs, we determined that 32 million of them are in fact government jobs. So they're not actual jobs growing the economy, providing services, et cetera. They're jobs paid for by your tax dollars. So when you do this math, if you're unable to read my beautiful handwriting, that says 19%. 19% of the people who have a job have a job paid for with taxes. That's one in five. That means if you put 10 people in the room, two of them work for the government and the other eight people fund their paychecks. Out of five people in that room, one of them works for the government and four people are working full time and paying taxes and everything else in order to fund the livelihood and paycheck of that one person. That is catastrophic. A system cannot continue to exist when four out of five people 
are funding the one out of five people. There's just, there's just not enough money and the math and economics are not gonna work out. Now, as much as I like to rag on the government, are all 32 million of these jobs completely useless? No, some of the local you know, government jobs are necessary, right? Like police, fire, trash pickup, things like that. You know, those are actually necessary jobs. One of you is gonna say, hey Dylan, I noticed you didn't list public school teachers as necessary important jobs in your, your local government. Isn't, you missed one. No, I didn't. So, not all of the jobs are useless, but 32 million people, even if useless or not useless, cannot continue to collect their full-time living from the government, which again, just means from the people via taxes and have a sustainable, growing, healthy economy. And if an economy in a country collapses or dies or shrinks, well, everything else goes pretty quick behind that. So I don't mean to black pill you and get all depressed today, but I think this is important information to understand. One out of five people collect their full-time paycheck from the government. And if that's not you, which the good chance, if you're watching this video, that is you according to the numbers. But if it's not you, you need to understand where you are and where things go. And even if it is you, honestly, and you agree with me that this is bad and this is horrible, you need to understand that your job may or may not always be there in the long run as things continue to degrade in the American empire. So just understand the context of where you're at in the decline and the fact that the economy is not doing well despite what they say because got jobs that continue to be added are just government jobs. And the bigger this number gets, the worse overall this picture is gonna be and the much rockier, spiky, poisonous, deadly bottom it's gonna be when we hit it. Understand the perspective of where you are. I hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.